Before we get into Xcode, let's take a high-level look at what table views are and how they work. Table views are a special type of view you can use to organize your data into a big, scrollable list of rows. You might think of it like a very fancy, scrolling, vertical stack view. Each row in a table view hosts another smaller view, called a table view cell. Cells are a special kind of reusable view. To use them, you need to set up a prototype cell. A cell should contain whatever types of views you need to display the data you want in the list. Usually that will be simple views like labels and image views, but cells can house many other types of views. You can create your own custom cell types, but you don't have to. There are also a few pre-configured prototype cells you can choose from. Once you have at least one prototype cell, the table view can get to work. The table view's job is to take your data and display it in ordered instances of your prototype cell. We'll get more into how a table view does that over the next few episodes. First, let's set up a table view and a prototype cell in Interface Builder. We're going to start totally from scratch. So in Xcode, make a new project. We want a single view application to start with. This will eventually turn into our README app, so call it README. Use your own organization name or your name and an identifier. We are using Swift and Storyboards. And here we go, save it wherever you'd like. We're going to do all of our view setup in Interface Builder, so open up main.storyboard. We've already got a view controller here, and you can add a table view to it just like you'd add any other type of view. Open the library, look for table view, and you'll see a table view and a table view controller in there. A table view is so widely used that UIKit actually gives us a special type of view controller for them. You don't have to use a table view controller to use a table view, but if your entire view controller will be filled up by a single table view, a table view controller is a great choice. For the app we're going to build, it's exactly what we need. So drag out a new table view controller. Now we need to set this as the first view controller, so drag this first view controller arrow over. And before we delete this other one, take a look at the document outline. In the regular view controller, the root view is a plain UI view, but the table view controller has a table view as a root view. Okay, go ahead and delete the view controller now. In the document outline, you can also see that this table view came with a cell for you. This will be our prototype cell. If you select it and look over in the attributes inspector, it should tell you this is a custom cell. Check out the style dropdown. These are your options for pre-configured prototype cells. The nice thing about these default styles is that you don't have to manage the layout of the views in the cell that's all done for you. So let's try using one. Choose the basic style and set the identifier to book cell because it will display books eventually. This identifier value is important. We will need it later to tell the table view to use this prototype cell. There's already a label in the basic cell with title in it. That's great, books have titles, so we'll keep it. You'll also see an image drop down in the attributes inspector. It'll let you choose an image from your asset catalog or a system image. The image is an optional view for a basic cell, but we're going to use it, so set it to book.fill. Now we can configure both of those views just like you would any regular label or image view. Select the label and set the font to title too. Select the image, change the configuration to font, and the font to large title. Fantastic! Our views are all set up, but if we try to build the app, we've just got an empty table view. We need some data. <laughs> 